It was the kind of letter that you could uh, tell was somebody who was really, you know, really knew kind of what you had done. And, and, you know, I've been trying really hard to not take the money, but instead work with the good directors. And that means months and months at a time, uh, wondering when the next job is going to be. And then it sort of comes around and I've, I've been really sort of trying to keep a, a reasonable, a decent resume. and, and um, and it seemed like Chris had sort of uh, been aware of that, and it was really flattering, and I was very happy to uh, um, to come back and accept this award. Um, I, I need to tell you a really quick story. Um, when I was 17, my parents, who were right there, why don't you, Carol and Jim, why don't you guys stand up? And Aww. David, my brother, is there, too. Aww. You know, the, 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 they're, you know, pretty much my whole life, and, uh, um, you know, they were really great when I was in high school, and they didn't push me to, to, to I mean, college wasn't even necessarily a, um, a, you know, a requirement in our family. Dad sort of raised us to be, sort of, he was done when we were 18, and, um, and uh, one night we went down to, I grew up in Asheville, one night we went down to the South Asheville you know what it's called these days, the South Asheville Cinema on the Hendersonville Highway, um, if you're in Asheville. And uh, we, we saw a movie called The Piano. And I, oh, there's mom right at the door. Hey, mom. <laughs> um, we saw, we saw a movie, my parents and I, we, we, we went to a movie called The Piano. And, and I didn't have any, I was not a film nerdy kid. I, I, I liked movies as much as anybody else, but there were, I didn't have any special affinity to them. Um, I had no idea where I was going to college or what I was going to do, and I hadn't made many plans. And I, I just was not caught up with some of my my classmates, sort of figuring out, you know, my first choice school and my second choice school and my second backup and my third backup. And I was just, I mean, I just, I was just thinking too much about stuff that probably doesn't matter now. But um, we saw the piano. And it really shook me up, and uh, I thought to myself, wow, movies. It, it felt to me like the first time I saw a, a movie that was entertainment and art, I guess. Um, and I said, I, I think I might want to go to film school. Um, and I went, I went and uh, I had a great English teacher, a guy called Dale Roberts, who's still a good friend of mine. And, and with his help, we sort of started researching, okay, where can I go to, to film school? And at that time, you know, every, you know, the popular wisdom, which is always, ridiculous was you know the only th if you want to go to film school you can only go to USC and UCLA and NYU and and, a, and for a lot of kids it's just not a, an option um, and with Dale's help we found out about the North Carolina School of the Arts and at that time it had been uh, you know it the, the film school had been in existence for one year um, and so I, um, I, li I literally applied to one college. I got into one college, and I went to that college. And um, I was in the film school here, and, I, and it was, it was a, a brilliant experience, sort of too big an experience to really you know, summarize. But it was just really, it was hard. And, um, and it was good hard, and I made great friends here. And, um, and um, I studied editing, and I thought I was going to cut documentaries, and then I kind of sort of f fell into acting um, while I was still here in film school doing short films. Um, long story short, after, you know, that was 1996, I guess. Um, I, was, I was there from, 90, or here from 94 to 98. Um, and in 2000, crap, I'm terrible with the dates. Um, 14 years later, um, I got a phone call from Jane Campion, who had directed the film that sort of made me go to film school. Um, if you haven't seen the movie called The Piano, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, Holly Hunter won an Oscar for her performance, and so did Jane for the script. Um, she called me up. She had apparently had been on, on the jury at the Venice Film Festival and had seen um, the assassination of Jesse James and felt like, well, that guy could play an overweight, bearded, Scottish <laughs> poet, uh, fails poet. And, and I, it was funny, I was in my kitchen taking the phone call and I was just very, I mean, I was sort of disbelieving of the whole thing <laughs> and trying to act very nonchalant. 
And I was underneath, a, I was standing underneath a movie poster in my kitchen of the piano. And of course I didn't say this to her, because that's sort of cheesy, but... Um, when I went to, when I, I got the job, and when I went to, the, obviously, and I went to England, um, and I brought that ticket stub from 1993, and it was, I think it was like $5.25. Um, and I, I said, look, you know, I, I know you've got a lot of fans all over the world, but I'm, you know, when I say I'm one of them, I'm not just, you know, I, I have the, the ticket. <laughs> um, and it was really amazing to come full circle. And in, in the same way, you know, after having that experience and then being invited by Chris to, to come here, it sort of seems very, you know, and, and to be presenting this film, it's sort of full so circle all over again. And it's just a very... I mean, it, it'll take me a while to process this whole experience, but I just want to share with you this really, I mean, a very, it seems a very rare experience to happen to someone like me, um, who's, who's, I don't think, I mean, I try hard, but I don't, I didn't feel any more exceptional than anyone else when I was growing up and came here and was terrified that I was just some redneck that hadn't seen as many movies as my classmates. And, um, but I had lived a little, which came, uh, into maybe better use than having watched Reservoir Dogs another <laughs> 11 times. Um, but I just want you to know how, how extraordinary I think this, I mean, not, I mean, th this award, but also coming back to NCSA and um, just this, you know, the circularity of this thing is really throwing me for, um, well, I, I guess a loop. <laughs> but I also really want to thank you guys for just coming. I mean, your presence is, is a, is, means a lot more than you might think it does. So anyways, thank, thank you a lot. This is pretty...